Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the Data Cloud and MuleSoft integration series. My name is Alex Martinez, and today we are going to see how to do all of the prerequisites or the settings that you will need to have ready for Salesforce or Data Cloud in order for this integration to work. If you are new to MuleSoft or you don't know MuleSoft at all, that is completely fine. This series is intended for Data Cloud users and I am going to guide you through everything that you will need in order to have this integration ready and running. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is to go to login.salesforce.com, write down your username and your password that you use to log in to Salesforce. So the first thing we are going to do is to go to the setup right here on the top right corner, click on that, then right here in this screen, go here to the quick find and search for app manager. Click on that so you can open that. Once it's open, click on the new connected app right here on the corner. And we are going to be filling out the following details. First, for the connected app name, we are going to select MuleSoft Integration Connected App. This can be any name that you want. Just make sure that you know what is the name the API name is going to appear there immediately. Then select your contact email. Just make sure it's an actual email because you will receive some links there. So after that, go here to where it says API enable auth settings and check this. For the callback URL, we are just going to add login.salesforce.com slash services slash auth2 slash callback. You can also find this link here if you if you hover over the callback URL. In this case, we will not be using this, so we are just setting it up because it is a required field. Next, for the selected OAuth scopes, we are going to be selecting the CDP scopes. So first of all, we have the Access All Data Cloud API resources. Click on Add. Next, we have Manage Data Cloud Calculated Inside Data, Manage Data Cloud Identity Resolution, Manage Data Cloud Ingestion API Data. I for sure know that we are going to be needing that one. Manage Data Cloud Profile Data. Manage User Data via Web Browsers. Perform and CSQL Queries on Data Cloud Data. For sure, we are going to need that one. And Perform Segmentation on Data Cloud Data. As a disclaimer, I am not 100% sure if we need all of these scopes because I am not a Data Cloud expert but I am pretty sure that we might need, at least we need the ingestion API one and the query one. Um, so you can figure out if these are all really needed or not. This is just for an example. And then finally, if you scroll down here, enable client credentials flow, make sure you have that. So anyone with a consumer key and consumer secret can access your org. On behalf of the selected user, yes, press OK. We are aware of that. So when you run this, uh, the credentials thing, just you have to make sure that no one else has your credentials. That is all for this part. So just scroll down and click on Save. Changes can take up to 10 minutes. Click on Continue. Once you are in the Details page, um, scroll down where it says API Enable Auth Settings and click on Manage Consumer Details. It will send a verification code to your email and then you have to input it here and click on Verify. Now here at the top of the screen, you will see some consumer details. I am not showing them on purpose because I don't want you to see them. <laughs> but here where you have the stage consumer details, you can click on generate and this will generate new consumer secret and consumer key. Um, once you have them set up right here, please copy those two, keep them somewhere safe because you are going to use them and then click on apply. And this, once you click on apply, it will take them from here and put them up on the screen where I am not showing it. So if at any point you feel that your credentials have been compromised, you need to change them for whatever reason, you can just come here and click on generate and regenerate some new ones and click on apply. So they go to the top of the screen. So that is all for the connected app. Now let's move on to the auth settings. Once more inside the setup part in the quick find, let's look for auth and open ID connect settings. So click on that. The only thing you have to check here is that you have the allow auth username password flows set to on. 
If you don't have it, please set it to on. If you do, then perfect. Now let's move on to the ingestion API settings. So if you go here and look for ingestion API, you will be able to see here data cloud configuration, select ingestion API and click on new right here to the right side of the screen. In the connector name, we are going to be using MuleSoft ingestion API. I already have this set up. So once you have this, you will be able to click on save and move on to the next screen. Now, once you are here, you have to take a note of the source API name that you see here. In my case, it's MuleSoft underscore ingestion underscore API because we are going to be using this later in our MuleSoft application. Now, I already uploaded my schema, so that's why you can see objects here. But if you don't have any schema, please go to the description of the video where I have the article and you will be able to see a YAML schema that you can use. You can also go to the GitHub repo, um, click on update schema or upload schema and put here your YAML schema. Uh, you can use the one that I put in the example or you can use a new one. Once you have that, you will be able to see a, a schema similar to this. If you use the same example that I did, then you will have the object name exercises and the object name runner profiles. Take a note of these two object names because you will also be using them in the Mule application. So that is all for the settings. Now let's go back to the Data Cloud home page. From the home page, make sure you select here on the apps icon. Search for Data Cloud and click on the Data Cloud with the bunny. You should have just one, but in case you have more, this is the one that we will be using. Next, select the Data Streams tab. If you cannot see it for whatever reason, you can click on More and you would be able to see it here. I already have this set up, but you will not. So you will have to click on New, then look for Ingestion API and click on Next. Select here your MuleSoft Ingestion API. In my case, because I already have all of the objects selected, I don't have any available options here. But if this is the first time that you do this, you will be able to see the two objects, the exercises and the runner profiles, and you will have to select them both. Then inside that configuration for both objects, for the exercises and the runner profiles, you will select the category profile in the primary key MAID. Click on next, select the default data space and click on deploy. Again, I am not showing these steps because I already have it set up. But once you do those steps, you will be able to see what I'm seeing right now. So for example, if I open my MuleSoft ingestion API runner profiles, I will be able to see my object API name, which you will be using in your query if you are doing a select. And here are the fields um, of all of the objects fields that you have uploaded in your YAML schema. As you can see here, I have the MAID key as a primary key. So this is the one that I will be using to delete objects or records. And we're done. That is all the setup that we have to do in Salesforce or Data Cloud before getting started with the Mule integration. Just to recap, you should have a text file similar to what I have right now and we are going to be setting up the following fields. Number one, we have the Salesforce username. So this value will be whatever you use to log into salesforce.com. Number two, we have the Salesforce password. So this is the same password that you use to log into salesforce.com. Next, we have the CDP consumer key. This is a consumer key that you generated after you did the whole thing with the email and everything that I wasn't able to show you because I didn't want you to see my consumer key and secret. And here's also the CDP consumer secret. So those two are the ones that you generated from the connected app. Then we have the source API name that you generated from the ingestion API. If you were using the same example that I did, then your name would be MuleSoft integration API. Next, we have the object name, which is the object name that came with the YAML schema. So this, if you are using the example that I did, this should either be exercises or runner profiles. 
And then just as a note, I wanted to uh, for you to remember what is the object ID, aka the primary key that you set up for your YAML schema or your objects in your YAML schema in Data Cloud. In my case, it was MAID. All right, that is all for this video. Please subscribe so you can receive notifications as soon as we publish new content. I will be continuing with this Data Cloud series. And if you have any more suggestions on what else I should be creating content about, please feel free to comment or send me a message directly, whatever you prefer. Remember to follow us in all of our socials, to subscribe in prosdev.com and to subscribe in YouTube slash prosdev, please. And I will see you in the next Data Cloud integration video. I hope this was helpful and I will see you then. Bye.